It's an impossible mission. Have you noticed the most amazing details in the Chicken Run 2 trailer? Like, did you know that Mrs. Tweety appears right at the beginning of the trailer, long before Ginger sees her coming down the stairs? That's right, the main villain of the movie was there all along. A few days ago, Netflix released some images from the film, and one of them was this one where Mrs. Tweety is in the center with these two characters on each side. And when we see Rocky trying to enter the Happy Land Farms company, which is the Nugget Farm, we see a hand activating the electric fence, moles armed with missiles and ducks with laser beams. And if you look closely, the person doing all this is wearing the same glove that Mrs. Tweety has in the image with her hand on the globe. So it's exactly her there, manipulating the entire security system because she knew very well that the chickens would come back someday and she spent all this time preparing and protecting herself against them. Welcome to the future. This demonstrates that this movie is going to be really cool. We noticed eight sensational secrets in the trailer. Do you want to know them all? Where are the newcomers? One of the big surprises in the new Chicken Run movie is Molly, Rocky and Ginger's daughter. But what we all noticed is that she didn't appear in the trailer at all. And not just her, but Frizzle too, the new character that was featured on Netflix posters some time ago. This suggests that Frizzle and Molly are trapped inside the Nugget Farm and are on their way to becoming fast food appetizers. The question is, how did they end up there? There's a possibility implied within the trailer, and you probably didn't notice it. Mrs. Tweety's Hunt After the ending we saw in the first movie, we can only come to one conclusion. Mrs. Tweety is immortal. <laughs> Even though it's a joke, doesn't it make sense? The woman fell from a great height and didn't die got her head stuck in a suffocating sauce machine and didn't die. Then the same machine exploded and she still didn't die. And finally, a gigantic iron door fell on her and everyone thought she was done for. Is she dead? No. But no, she rises like a phoenix and once again comes to torment the lives of the chickens. And someone like that surely holds a grudge, and after searching for a long time, especially after getting rich by selling nuggets, she had many resources and ended up finding the chicken sanctuary. And she must have managed to take almost all of them, except for the rescue team trying to get in there to save all the other comrades and chicks. After all, they are chickens and spent their time laying eggs and raising lots of little chicks. And now they'll need to get in and not get out. And I really want to see how that's going to happen. But in the meantime, Molly is trying to escape. It wouldn't make sense for a movie called Chicken Run if there wasn't at least one escape attempt from those on the inside, right? Although we didn't see Molly in the trailer, we can see one of the posters shows her with a spoon, which is the tool chickens use, and the phrase, like mother, like daughter. This means two things for sure. Molly is trying, from inside the Nugget prison, to do the same thing her mother did in the hen house in the first movie, devising plans to try to escape with everyone. And the second thing, she's using this spoon to try to dig an escape route, while Ginger is trying to get in to rescue everyone. And she must not be alone in this. After all, just like Ginger, Molly must have her support team. One of them is Shirley Frizzly, whom we also saw on another poster. But not only her, probably more little hens and roosters, since when the chickens moved to the sanctuary at the end of the first movie, many chicks grew freely outside Mrs. Tweety's prison. And we can see the other chickens teaching them many things that they can now use to try to escape once again. Certainly, this is a theory that makes a lot of sense, but she's not the only one because Rocky is also imprisoned. As we saw in the trailer, Rocky is trying to get into the Nugget Factory at all costs, probably to try to save everyone and his daughter who were inside. But this time, Mrs. Tweety was prepared, and he was definitely captured after the ducks with laser beams. The laser-guided exploding ducks! Huh? That's why when we see the team form to get in there, the two mice, Nick, Mac, Bunty, Ginger, Babs, Fowler, and Fetcher. Fowler? That's right. If you thought that was Rocky, you've been fooled. That's the good old Captain Fowler presenting himself for duty once again. In other words, that meeting where they are heading to rescue the chickens is already after the scene where Rocky tried to get in and was captured by Mrs. Tweety. And when we see all the chickens together, one thing caught the attention of part of the internet, which was Pop Sucker. This is just a very funny detail, but many people didn't even notice that the weapon Ginger is holding says Pop Sucker. Pop Sucker is a children's toy widely used to distract kids because its ends have suction cups that stick to various types of surfaces. To be honest, it's a really fun toy, and we know that Ginger will use it at some point to climb a wall to finally get into the Happy Land Farm facilities to save all the chickens and chicks inside. The detail is that the name Sucker actually has a double meaning. So besides being used as a tool for the rescue mission, the weapon is a pun. 
but who is it directed towards? We can't say for sure, but many are saying it's for the chickens themselves who were fooled into thinking that Mrs. Tweety had died and would never bother them again. Others say that we are the ones being deceived because, according to these people, a big twist will happen in the movie. Maybe a major tragedy. Will it? It's go time. It's all right. I went before we left. We can only wait to find out, but one thing we definitely noticed that was super cool were the escape tools. In the equipment used by Ginger's team, we see that they've adapted a bunch of things to be able to pass through the Nugget Factory security. Perhaps that's exactly why Rocky, in quotes, sacrificed himself, getting captured so they could see how the security system worked and come up with a more efficient rescue plan, since Rocky himself knows that Ginger's brain is very sharp and capable of devising any escape plan. And we see that at one point, they are swimming, which means they are probably passing through the bottom of the lake where the ducks with laser beams are, as trying to pass through there in any other way would be impossible. And we see that their equipment includes a bunch of everyday things. For example, Babs wears a kind of helmet, while Bunty is using a modified pacifier to breathe and a canteen tied to her back, while pulling a net full of things, which is probably swimming equipment for the other chickens to escape. It's an impossible mission. And besides that, they are using a kind of duck foot. After all, with chicken feet, they wouldn't be able to swim, right? And after they pass through this lake, they will be able to see what the inside of the Nugget Factory looks like and all the horrors inside, at least for them. <laughs> and that's something we haven't seen so far. Another thing we haven't seen either, and that many people missed, was Mr. Tweety. That's right, the man who was right all along in saying that the chickens were plotting an escape plan, but his wife never believed it. And at the end of the first movie, we see that he, upon seeing his wife trapped in the pie machine, simply closed the door and thought... <laughs> and when this image came out, many people thought that this man holding the bucket of nuggets and wearing this fancy suit would be him. But if we compare the images, we can see that they are different people, even though they are animated characters. The strongest theory going around is that Mrs. Tweety is no longer Mrs. Tweety, as she would have simply left him and probably married this other guy, who is definitely filthy rich, and allowed her to create her nugget factory and go after the chickens in her sweet revenge, finally. For this reason, we think that we either won't have Mr. Tweety in the movie again, or if he appears, it will be as an employee of his ex-wife, since he also no longer has chickens to raise on his farm. That makes perfect sense, and it would also be a big surprise. And if there's one thing we think this movie will bring, it's big surprises, and I want to see them all soon. <laughs> Those were the eight secrets we noticed in the new Chicken Run 2 trailer. You can tell it's going to be filled with amazing things, but you know what else is amazing? These two videos that are popping up on your screen right now. Between the two, which one do you think is cooler to watch? Click on it and then leave your comments. The journey doesn't end here. Stay with us.